sometimes things don't work out how you plan them to. Sometimes you have to make adjustments and change your approach on how you decide to handle something. Sometimes things are out of your control and you can't do anything about it, but just keep going and keep moving forward and continue on what your main goal was. Just because your plans change, it doesn't mean that your goals have to change. It just means that you might have to take a new approach to accomplish those goals. For instance, we're in the process of selling our house and our house was supposed to sell, but something fell through and now we have to put it back on the market, which is gonna end up costing us a little bit more money because now we have to pay you know, the next month's mortgage. And with 30 to 45 days, potential closing if we find a buyer quickly it kind of it kind of puts us in a spot where we're going to end up spending more money and we had to change our plans so now since we have to put it back up on the market the plans change but the goal is the same we're still trying to sell our house and many times you're going to have goals that you want to accomplish and your plan is going to have to change a lot of those times and that's perfectly fine and sometimes it can be devastating when plans change and if you have to deal with like serious hardships or you know losing a loved one or losing a job or you know losing your home or things like that and you get put in positions of like complete despair and you're you're in a really bad spot that's really difficult to have to deal with those things but as long as you keep trying to make goals and you keep trying to work towards them then when plans do change and even if they change for the absolute worst at least you have something that'll keep you motivated at least you, you have something to aim for you know you have hope and you don't want to reach a point where you give up hope on your goals and on your dreams and get to a point where you're just miserable and you're working the same job or you're just in a position in your life where you know you maybe you don't have a lot of money maybe you just make enough to make ends meet maybe you're broke and you really have nothing when you don't have goals and when you don't try to think of ways to get out of bad positions and spots in your life where plans changed and changed for the worse then you kind of have nothing. There's so much that you can do in life and many of us, including myself, have spent a lot of our time wasting away and just accepting our fate. Some of us will say that goals are achievable for some people but they're not achievable for me. I'm never going to get out of this rut. You know, this is the life that I was born to live. I'm never going to get out of this town. I'm never going to get out of this job. I'm never going to buy a house. I'm never going to build wealth. I'm never going to have investments because this is just the way things are for me. And when you don't have those goals, that's kind of the person that you become. That's kind of the world that you end up living in. And when I was younger, it's, it's funny because you think when you're younger, you should have more motivation and more ambition to accomplish things and to try to improve your life and try to do those things. And I really didn't. Even up until I was 30, I really wasn't doing much. I made a couple good decisions in my life. You know, some of us make a lot of good decisions and end up in a really good spot. Some of us make a few good decisions and end up in a decent spot. And some of us make bad decisions or don't make any decisions at all and end up in kind of a rut or, you know, in a bad position. And some of us make a ton of bad decisions. And I've been in a lot of those different areas throughout my life. And right now I'm getting to a point in my life where I'm extra ambitious and I really want to accomplish a lot of big things. And I'm, I'm in my mid thirties, you know, in a few years I'll be 40. And it's crazy to think that I've gotten that big second wind so late into my life when people think that this is the time in my life where I should be completely established and know everything that I want to do. And while I do have those goals, my plans throughout the you know last 10 years or so have been building up to that. But constantly plans are changing. My family and I have moved around a lot in the last few years. We've had a lot of different ideas of what we wanna do and where we wanna take our lives and where, where we wanna go with things that we're trying to accomplish. And as long as you know my wife and I still keep the same goals in mind, we're, we're accomplishing that slowly but surely, little by little, every day, even though the plan may change once in a while, I'm still moving towards those goals. And, and I'm trying to explore new ways of making money and I'm trying to explore ways of investing and I'm trying to improve my life every day. And the ultimate goal for me is to build passive income and to be financially independent. And hopefully I can accomplish that. And as long as I keep those goals in mind, I know that I can get there as long as I keep moving in the right direction and keep trying to work towards them even if things change along the way as long as I focus on the target I'll get there and that's really all you have to do and I'm, I've learned that over the years the older I get the more I realize that all you have to do is just keep working hard and keep focusing on what you want to accomplish no matter what happens in life there's always ways that you can improve and better yourself and make more money and be healthier and be happier so make sure that you keep working on your goals no matter how your plans change and no matter what happens just keep trying to improve and make yourself better every day all right 
that's enough about plans and goals and changing in life and all this different stuff that I'm starting to talk about. If you're watching these videos, I do appreciate you. I know it's not learning how to code stuff. I'm kind of getting bored of that. And I'm trying to talk about different stuff and experiences that I feel that I could bring value to people's lives with. So if you do watch these videos, I know that these aren't my popular ones. And I know that you guys really appreciate what I have to say. And I really appreciate that you watch my videos. So again, thank you. And I'll see you next time.